Hey everyone, how's it going? So in today's video, we're going to learn how to install N8N in Q mode using a custom domain on HostGator. We're going to do it in a really easy way. It's really automatic, just copy and paste. I think it's the easiest way for you to install it on EasyPanel. If you don't have EasyPanel installed, we also have a video here on the channel. We have a video where we teach you how to acquire the server and install it. The Waze Panel from scratch. And then you watch this video, I'll leave it in the description, and then you can install your N8N in Q mode. Customized with your own domain. Let's go to the computer screen, then, in a very simplified way. Here we're going to install, and we're also going to use a custom domain. Here, a custom domain. We're going to install it here almost automatically. Just enter the project name, the domain, and these three passwords here, and it's already done. We're already going to have the code here to install it automatically in a very simplified way. So we're going to use HostGator here, the hosting where my domain is located. But if your hosting is somewhere else, if you have your domain on another hosting, you can. We're also going to do the forwarding here. The first thing we're going to do is set up that forwarding there at HostGator. So we only need this IP here, which is here in EasyPanel, which is the IP of our application. I'm going to copy it here and I'm going over to HostGator. I'm on the home page here. I'm going to see panel here. Here. I'm going to have to make two changes. First, if I don't have the subdomains registered yet, I only have one domain. So I'm going to register a subdomain to use N8N. If you don't even have a domain, you'll need to acquire one. And there on that main page where the domains are, you can purchase a domain hosting. But here, let's Understand that you already have your domain or maybe it's on another hosting, but then you'll have to create a subdomain. So we're going to go here to the domains, right? Of domains here, right? Mine is in the domain. And I'm going to click. And then I can create a subdomain for before my domain that I'm going to set up. N8 is the first one. You have to click here on create a new domain, right? And then I'm going to put N8, any laboratory in the advanced research and development and innovation. The laboratory at cold.com. This domain already exists, but in this case, you create two subdomains. I have that one. In this case, if I didn't have it, it wouldn't exist. And there's even a button here for me to click, click to create, but there isn't one. So I'm not going to create it again. And here I'm going to create the, and there too, the other domain is going to be N8N2, or you can call it webhook, whatever name you want to give it. And I create a subdomain as well, but I can't create it here because I already have one. Having done that, I go back here to tools. And I'm going here to DNS. Here in this editing zone. Here. Hi. So I just have my domains. I'm going here to settings, right? To be able to direct it there to the, the X panic, right? So I'm going to search, right? Chain. And then it already shows up here. For me, these two, two without the WW. And with the WW here are these first two. Here I'm going to go to edit, then I'm going to put the number here of the IP. I put it here, it's already here actually, right? 
I'm going to save it. I put a second one. Which one is it? I'm going to the second one here, saving that too. And the second, an 8n that I created here, which is 2. So I'm going to edit here, 2. Do the same thing here. Put the IP and save. I do this for both. And it's already ready here. Here. In. At HostGator. See, it's really simple. Just create the subdomain and redirect it here to Exipenio. So having done that, we're going to this table here. You can make a copy of this table and in the link that I'm going to leave below you make a copy of it for you to do here so the first thing we're going to do is type the name of the project over at Exipenio we don't have the project yet so I'm going to here uh, create a new project I'm going to call it NAD I've already created the project then I come here to the spreadsheet and put the name that I created. It can be any name you want. Then you put the same name here. The name of the project. Here I'm going to put the domain. The main domain that I created with the subdomain too, right? That's going to be an 18th laboratory. And in old.com. I'm going to copy it down here. The other domain only has the two, right? So I put it here. So I'm going to edit here. I'm going to paste that I. I'm going to put again that it's N8N2. The point laboratory on cold is the. It's already ready here. Look, the first domain, the domain for the webhook, and here, look, three. These three passwords, here, I can generate it. In some password generator, I can just come here and change any number in the middle. I'll change anything here. I'm not even going to change anything here because these passwords are from the database here. They're not going to be used much. Later, I'm going to change it, but for now, it's for for the class that I'm not going to change. So you can just come here and put, for example, 8. Change it to 8 here. The three passwords, it's ready here. Now we're going to take a look here. Oh, select these first two. Postgres, Heads, and N8N. And I copy, copy. I come here, look, in column C. And I do a special paste. Just the values. And now I already have here, look, the code that I'm going to need to generate the whole project easily. I have to use the column here, the first one that I want. Database, not Postgres in the rear, so I click here on it. I'm going to come here, look, at the beginning, up here. And I'm going to press Ctrl A to select everything. I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy. And then I'm going to come here to Exipenio and I'm going to go to more service here. I'm going to go to the end. And I'm going here. Oh, yes. Create from schema. I'm going to paste this first piece of data here that I copied. I'm going to do a create and I'm going to come back here to service. Go back to my table. Then I'm going to go to the current column. I click here. I'm going up here. Control A. Control C to copy, right? Control A to select everything. And then I'm going to press C to copy. I'm coming back here to X penis. I'm going to go to the end.
create from schema in Creo. And I create. Here we go again. And then I'm going to wait for this installation here, which is pretty quick. It takes about a minute or at most two minutes there. And there you go. It has already been created for me. Everything that needs to be created. So, and I, I can come here now. Oh, in this first one here, which is the editor and I can see the domains here. It's already here for me in the lab at cold N8. I can copy here and then I paste it. The first time I use it, it's already going to... I need to enter the email, right? I enter the password here. And here I am on the main screen. If I click here in there's already the first flow here to create. And if I put here, for example, webhook, you see that here when I put it in production, it uses the, the N8 and 2. Here, what is going to be used for webhook? In the test, it uses the normal one. Even here, it's already installed in Q mode and you can already use it with your custom domain.